By the time I landed in Southeast Asia, I'd already traveled thousands of miles, and I was now into Padang. And I was, I was coming over the bridge. I was going into a hotel called The Rainbow, and I was doing a visa run because I couldn't stay out of the country for too long. And as I landed there, I was excited about hitting Malaysia. And once I got there, I had asked everybody that was with us. I said, would you like to go on a little adventure with me? Would you like to go see? It was 7.30 in the morning. And they said, no, I'd like to go in the hotel. So what did I do? I just grabbed a motorbike and I took off. And I ended up at this amazing temple where there was stairs that was 500 feet in the air. And there was something totally different that I'd ever seen, a different religion. It was a different um, culture. It was totally different. I was very nervous. I was very, um, I would say I had a little bit of a fear inside of me. But I kept going. And as you can see here, I ended up at the very top of this hill. And it was an experience I never would have had if I didn't keep going. As I returned back to the Rainbow Hotel, I had asked those people, what did you do? And they said, oh, we hung out at the hotel, we slept, we did all these things. And they said, what'd you do? And I showed them 150 of my pictures that I'd taken with monkeys and all these things. And they're like, whoa, weren't you afraid? Um, why would you go alone? And they kept asking all these questions. And so what I did is I went back and I'd went over to social media and I'd share the story with social media. And I'd gotten messages going, Jason, be careful. There's different religious views. There's different things that they do. And so what they kept asking finally came to the conclusion was why, why, why? You see, my why had changed years ago. What my why was is I was actually selling Harley Davidson's years back. And I had an opportunity to sell many motorcycles. So I had an opportunity to maybe interview somebody and ask them their life story or anything like that. And I had asked a gentleman, he was 72 years old and I'd sold a motorcycle to him. And I said, if you could go back in your life, what would you do? in a fascinating statement. He said, if I could go back in my life, I would get myself into deeper holes that I never thought I could get out of because that's where the adventure lies. And as I was thinking, he threw in one more. He said, because I've made it and there was many times that I thought I wouldn't. You see, in 2011, it was a very tough year for me. I had many relationships that were changing. I had business that was failing. Um, I had made it through the economy, but it was definitely a change for me and I didn't really know the transition that I was going through. And so what I decided to do is I picked up the phone, I had tried for a job, they gave me the job and then the guy at a very high end uh, eyewear company, he gave it to his wife. And so from there I called on the phone on Thailand, Thailand, why would you call Thailand? I was looking up martial arts, I'd always been fascinated in martial arts. And so what I did is I called that up. They were very kind to me. I, I hung up the phone, I woke up in the morning, and I called all my friends and I said, I'm heading to Thailand. And everybody said, you're crazy. Um, you're gonna get hurt. Um, oh, by the way, I told them I'd be gone for a year. And they said, you'll be back in three months. Well, that's not what happened. I ended up staying and having one of the most fascinating experiences I've ever had in my life. You see, I trained really hard, and as you could see here, I really wasn't in the best shape. I had to get better and better and better and I didn't think I would ever get to that point where I was going to fight, not due to maybe what my heart felt, but due to I was in really bad shape. But I did. I trained hard. I ended up fighting. I ended up winning. Now, I was very excited about it, but the one thing that it solidified for me is that I can go from one area in one situation to another. So I took on new challenges. I started to learn how to wheelie motorcycles. I started to learn how to meditate. I did a meditation that if you've known me at all or ever met me, I can barely sit for two seconds. And I decided at that point, I'm gonna do this. I ended up doing a t an hour and a half meditation, which was pretty cool. I thought it was a great, great experience. Well, there came a time in Thailand when I decided that it was time to head home. It was holiday season and I had to get back. But when I had gotten back, it was much different. You see, I'd seen poverty and I'd seen people that loved me for no money and, and, and they had loved me for so many things that were different than maybe I was at home. Though I had a good support system, it was just different. And so it was hard to transition. And so I tried to start working again. I launched my company, but I really didn't push hard because I still, at that point, didn't know why. What was my purpose? What was my reason? And so then what ended up happening is I decided to pick up music. And I said, well, if your brain's not gonna work 100%, let's pick up some new talent. And so I took on a challenge to learn how to play guitar. And I'm very excited to say I can play some music. I mean, at least I can fake you guys out at a campfire. 
Well, one day I got asked, he said, Jason, would you like to come and speak at our junior high? And so I'd gotten to the junior high and I spoke. And as I was speaking to this junior high, I, I, I started to realize as what I was speaking on was everything that I had learned and all the patterns and, and that all the mathematical equations where I learned the, everything that I did the same way every single time. And as I was telling this mathematical equation on how I did all the things I did, I watched the teacher, she's making notes and I'm going, wait a minute here, maybe I got something. And so I went back home and I realized at that time, I know what I need to do now. And so that's why we're here today. So what I wanted to do is share with you guys, you see, I had seen a lot of before and afters and I'd seen a lot of before pictures and changing body transformations and I, I was fascinated. I really was, of people going from one area to the other, I thought it was amazing. So what I did is I thought, you know what, those pictures are really cool, but the one thing that they don't tell is the struggle in between and the learning in between and the fundamentals that it took to get there. So what I've done is I sat back and I'd like to share with you what I'm gonna do now. I'm really excited to share with you that I'm now going back into business, but not just going back into business. I'm gonna go full board. I'm gonna take on challenge that I never thought that I would take on, and it's gonna take a lot of pain, it's gonna take a lot of struggle, and it's gonna take a lot of support. But it's also gonna take a great story and a lot of education that we're gonna learn if you would like to follow me in the story. I wanna do a half a million dollars in total gross sales in one year and share the story of what it's like to make money. But making money isn't really what my drive is. It's to show that it can actually be done. But you see, I guess that wouldn't be it. Because if I just went after that, I didn't really learn anything. You see, over that time, one thing that excited me was that less fortunate children than I had, that I was, had bigger struggles than I did even when I came home. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to donate 5% of total gross sales to less fortunate children in the $500,000 that I'm looking to grow. So with that said, I'd like to just invite you to this adventure. Um, I had studied a book called The Art of War. If you've ever read it, um, it's an amazing book. If you've not, pick it up, it's amazing. But there's one thing that he talks about and he says, when your back is against the wall, you'll act differently in that situation. So what I'd like to ask you is if you share this video and you share it out to some friends and things, as I see that those are shared, it puts me against the wall and it tells the story of Rags to Riches, the living story.